Hey everybody, it's Mikey B at Beckley's RVs. Right behind me is a Thor 4 Winds 28A. An A must stand for awesome. And what do I mean? You gotta come take a peek. This has got some awesome features. Let's go. Outside the Four Winds 28A, A means awesome. We have an awesome exterior with some awesome features. Starting off on the door side, you have a nice big uh, awning, patio awning, so you can have a nice area for some pa party of patio time. It is adjustable, so that way if you get a light rain, you can pitch it and run that water off. But on the back side of this motorhome is where it's really awesome, where it's kicking with some nice features. You guys love being outside with me I'm sure you do we have a couple cool features here on the outside there's a spray port that you can hook up and that way you can wash down those dirty feet or maybe those big pots and pans and hey you wouldn't have pots and pans if you weren't cooking right I have a propane uh, quick connect here so I can hook up my grill or maybe a, a, a griller or something and make up some good delicious lunch and dinner I love this idea but this is where it really gets started in the back we have an awesome amount of storage and, and I that is probably an underestimate when I say that it is wide it is from side to side and I have three compartment doors to be able to access all my gear that I want to take camping with me but on this side I have to point out it comes with a table how awesome is that now I've got extra space along with my um, picnic table to have a nice prep area to make up some of those good meals when we're out camping but come with me to the back side and the other side because again you have all these awesome doors to be able to access stuff more importantly the compartment doors are big and wide so that way if you do have large gear items like maybe um, uh, uh, you know big awning or some bit like maybe an awning mat or anything you can access this and last but not least on this side with the storage there's some cool cubby hole secret spaces if you will that's got a drain plug so if I've got any dirty items I can stow in there and when I get home take a hose to it pull the plug and wash it out simple awesome love this feature sitting behind the driver's seat in the Thor 4 Winds 28A a in this point of view must mean able. This thing is able to do a lot. And we've got to start with the power plant. It is a Ford 7.3 liter V8. <laughs> you know, you may say, ah, oh, V8, that's a big engine, it's gonna suck some gas. But hey, it is geared with, um, with a six speed transmission to, for a couple of those middle gears. So that way it really maintains the best fuel economy when you're pulling or pushing all this weight down the road but at 450 pounds of torque that's a lot of muscle to do things but i gotta also say the ability to tow or be able to take a lot of stuff with you this is on a 14,500 pound chassis and sitting the way it sits here currently with the options that we have in this motorhome i have 3600 pounds of gear i can take with me water weight storage items kids, passengers, everything. I mean, do the math, 3,600 pounds. How many tons is that? That's a lot of stuff. And beyond that, what is really the awesome kicker, and this is gonna be for you boat guys or maybe car guys that are gonna tow a car in a cargo trailer, I still have 7,500 pounds of towing capacity on an 8,000 pound hitch. That is phenomenal. You put those numbers together, you have 11,000 pounds of stuff that you can take with you. That is killer in this Ford, uh, Ford 14,500 pound GVWR. Now, once you get past the power, you're driving this thing. I love the, the ergonomics. It's so comfortable, just like I'm driving my SUV. I've got the big mirrors on the side of me to be able to safely do some lane changes and do that quick check before I do so. And then when you get to your campground, you'll have that extreme visibility to be able to back into your campsite comfortably and confidently. And, uh, not just the rear view mirrors, or I should say the side mirrors, you also have a backup camera. So just in case you're, you're pulling into that campsite and not sure, it's maybe a little dusk and visibility is a little bit, you kick that in reverse. You've got a nice big screen here that you'll be able to see right behind you. That's safety, convenience, and confidence for me. 
Standing inside the Thor 4 Winds 28A, A means awesome. This floor plan is not only awesome, but it is amazing amount of the content that you get in under 30 foot. This video here, we're gonna run from the front to the back and go through all the cool, quick features that this floor plan's got going on. First and foremost, starting in the front, we have a nice bed, queen bed up here, calling all you kiddos. And there is a um, telescoping ladder so they can safely get up there and, and climb up and enjoy a nice, nice uh, playtime or, or, or sleep time. But during the day, you have this awesome, amazing, kick out TV that you'll be able to see anywhere that you're seated within the coach, whether it's the booth dinette or the sofa, throw on maybe a, new, a late night movie or something. And far as sitting, the booth is super comfortable. I've got a nice seat, um, nice comfortable cushion underneath me, but I will be able to easily uh, sit four dots with a couple cup holders. I've got a cell phone charger. So that way, if it's a rainy day, we can still get inside and, and enjoy our meal comfortably. But it also doubles, the dinette doubles as a sleeping capacity. Quick flip of the table down, back cushions in. Now I've got an extra spot if I need it to sleep one, maybe one adult or two kids. This um, coach or this floor plan can easily sleep six to eight people. And we talk about sleeping, another sleeping spot is your sofa. It does have seatbelts like the booth, so that way safety wise, all the kiddos are, are uh, nicely strapped in. But this is also, this three person sofa doubles in almost like a futon. Now you can sleep one, again, maybe if you gotta squeeze two kids in. But over top, I've got to note the amazing amount of storage in this floor plan. We have big overhead cabinets on both sides of the sofa and the dinette to easily access, store, or stow all those wonderful goodies. What do you think? Lots of stuff that you can take with you. Now getting to the kitchen, again, we have a lot of nice storage. We have adjustable shelves that way cans versus um, <laughs> cook, or what I'm gonna say cookie, but like cereal boxes, stuff like that we can adjust. We have a microwave to do some of our late night zapping like popcorn or something. I've got a stove, three burner stove top and, an <laughs> and an oven to be able to do some cooking. And by the way, the front burner is a high output. So you're making, we're getting into the fall season and we've got some chili going. We've got our big chili pot here to be able to handle that. But hey, after everybody's eaten, we need some, big deep sink to be able to wash all that stuff. And it's pointed off with some nice residential gold features or uh, fi fixtures and hardware like your drawers down here that you have ample amount of space to throw a lot of your utensils and stuff. Opposite of your kitchen is a nice big uh, refrigerator freezer. This sucker is about the, probably about the size of what I have in my house. So if I've got a long weekend and we've got a lot of people, it's party time, uh, patio party time outside, or maybe it's just a long trip, I'll be able to throw a lot of my perishables in there and safely be able to go without having to stop at the grocery store. Moving behind me is our walkthrough bath. I started in the early 2000s. The walkthrough baths were kind of, kind of kicking out. They were going to more of a side bath, but I'm still a fond, um, uh, are fond of the walkthrough bath and why? Because when we have our shower here with their opposite door closed off, I now, when I get out of the shower, I have all this floor space with privacy to be able to uh, dry off, change my clothes, etc. But all you guys love to know about the shower is just like with me, ample elbow room, ample head height to get a nice warm shower. And beyond the opposite of the shower is going to be our toilet and our sink. And of course, inside we have a good space um, utilization with as far as toiletries. We've got our medicine cabinet up top. We've got our storage below to be able to get some of the big toiletry items. So again, if you're bringing six, seven, eight people with you, we've got a lot of storage to be able to stow everybody's gear. Beyond the bathroom, if you do need some privacy, the back be uh, bedroom has a nice accordion style um, curtain that folds out to be able to, to keep that privacy going, or even if you want to use it as a split bath. And then last but not least, we have a true walk around queen bed 
with tons of storage surrounding it. We have some big overhead cabinet doors above the head of the bed. We have wardrobe closets on either side. And then we even still have some drawers with some counter space to throw on those cell phones to charge them at night. But when I say this is a true walk around queen bed, I have space to be able to access both sides and be in a queen bed, easily sleep two adults and good, get a good night's sleep. So there you have it. The Thor 4 Winds 28A. Awesome, amazing, and able. All right, so we have it, a floor plan uh, Class C motorhome under 30 foot that has over 11,000 pounds of cargo and towing capacity that can sleep six to eight people. I love it. It's a Thor 4 Winds 28A, A for awesome, amazing, and able. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. If you agree, give us a like, thumbs up, Comment below if you have any questions on this floor plan or anything that you want to see further. And don't forget to show us some love. Smash that subscribe button. We'll see you around next time at the campsites.